Students, I hope you have learned about simple microscope in my last e-lecture. In today's session, we will learn about compound microscope. I am Sheikh Abu Sufyan. Welcome you to AS Academy Learning Forever. At the end of this e-learning session, you are able to define compound microscope, understand its design and use of its different parts, comprehend mechanism, advantages and disadvantages of bright field microscopy, and draw its ray diagram. First, we will see the definition. Compound microscope is an optical instrument that magnifies image of small object consisting of an objective lens and an eyepiece lens. So we have seen in my last e-lecture about simple microscope. Simple microscope contains single lens whereas compound microscope consisting of two lens, objective lens and eyepiece lens. As a result of that, compound microscope has much more magnification as compared to simple microscope and we can see bigger image of the object. Let's see design. Compound microscope consists of three major systems. First, support system which comprises of the base, stage and body tube. This component of microscope does not have a role in magnification of image. It only plays supporting role and hence it is called as support system of microscope. Second is illumination system. It consisting of light source may be electrically illuminated by the tungsten filament lamp or a halogen lamp. So most of the modern microscope consisting of this artificial light whereas in case of student microscope that we use in laboratory it does not have artificial light source but it only contain a mirror which having two surface plane surface and concave surface. So this mirror help to illuminate object with the help of natural light. Next part of illumination system is the iris diaphragm and condenser. So you can see iris diaphragm and condenser it is exactly present below the stage. Third system, it is magnification system. It consists of two set of lens. First one is objective lens. So the lens system which is near to the specimen is called as objective lens. We know that we keep specimen on this stage since this lens present close to the specimen or object it is called as objective lens. Second one, it is eyepiece or ocular. So the lens system which is near to the point of observation is called as eyepiece or ocular. Since you observe the image with the help of eye, so this lens it is very close to the eye and hence it is called as eyepiece lens. Since we are using two lens in compound microscope, eyepiece lens and objective lens, so image seen by eye has magnification equal to product of magnification of these two lens system. Let's take the example. Suppose your eyepiece lens has the magnification which is equal to 10x and your objective lens has magnification equal to 40x then total magnification will be 10 multiplied by 40 that will be 400x. There are different types of eyepiece lens and objective lens and each play very important function in magnification of the image. So first it is the ocular lens. So ocular lens it is also called as eyepiece lens. It play two important function. First it magnify the real image of the object. Second it correct some of the defect of the object. So in the image you can properly see all the component. There are three types of ocular. First one it is hygienin, second one it is Ramston, and third one it is compensating. So each of these ocular lens play a very important role and it is different in their design. First one is hygienin ocular. It is constructed with the plane surface of two lens facing upward and the diaphragm is situated between them. So the diaphragm it is present between the two lens system. It is also called as negative ocular because the focus occur within the eyepiece. So you can see here this is the focus and which is occur within the eyepiece so it is called as negative ocular. Second one it is Ramsden or it is also called as positive ocular. These are constructed with the convex surface of both the lens facing inward and diaphragm it is placed externally below the lower lens. They are used specially in case of micrometry for measurement of size of the small object for example the bacteria, parasite and give more accurate result than hygiene in ocular. Third one it is compensatory ocular or positive ocular. This is an ocular that compensate and correct for the effect of chromatic abrasion in the objective. Chromatic abrasion it is failure of lens to focus all color to the same point. 
In earlier two lens system that is Ramsden and Hygienin it unable to correct for the effect of chromatic abrasion. So here in case of compensating ocular to correct this chromatic abrasion we have added one more lens and as a result of that compensating ocular consists of triple lens system as the lower lens component. So here we have used the three lenses or the triple lens system. So let's recall what you have learned by giving answer to the simple questions. So my first question is enlist component of illumination system of compound microscope. So answer is illumination system consisting of light source, iris, condenser and diaphragm. Second question name the lens system which is near to the specimen. So the lens system which is near to the specimen or the object it is called as an objective lens. My third question is name the ocular in which convex surface of both the lenses are facing inward. We have seen three type of ocular out of which the in one system the lens system it is facing inward and that is Ramsden or it is also called as positive ocular. My fourth question is give example of negative ocular. So there is only one negative ocular we have studied and that is hygiene in ocular. It is called as negative ocular because the focus it is inside the eyepiece. Whereas in case of positive ocular focus it is outside the eyepiece. So till now we have studied about ocular lens. Now we will see the second lens that is objective lens. So first we will see the function of objective lens. The function are obviously first it is magnify the real image of the object and second important role it is to unite light at the point of the image. There are three major types of objective lens mainly used in microscopy such as first achromatic, second fluoride and third one is apochromatic. Achromatic objective are the simplest in construction and least expensive. It consists of the simple lens. Since achromatic objective lens it is simplest in construction and least expensive it is one of the widely used lens system in case of microscopy. Although it is a widely used lens system but the abrasion that is ray going away from the right path are not corrected by the achromatic lens. Whereas abrasion are largely eliminated by the use of fluoride and apochromatic objective lens. Apochromatic objective represent highest degree of optical perfection. So specialized lens are used in case of apochromatic objective lens and as a result of that they, these objectives are very costly. Hence they are only used for critical research work and photomicrography. So it is not affordable for routine microscopic technique. Next one it is oil immersion objective. This is most frequently used in microbiology. Let's see the advantage. This objective increases the visual angle from the object that enter the objective and we know that if more is the visual angle bigger will be the size of the image and as a result of that it has greater magnification and the resolution. In case of oil immersion objective lens we use cedar wood oil. Now let's see why cedar wood oil is used in case of oil immersion lens. First understand what if if we are not using the oil as a medium in between objective lens and object. Since we are not using the oil in those case of lenses for example in case of low power objective lens. So in case of those objective the medium it is air and we know that the refractive index of the air that is n is equal to 1 and is lower than that of the glass and glass having the refractive index of 1.55. Since here there is difference in the refractive index of the air and the glass. As a result of that the light ray passes from the glass light into the air they are bent or refracted. This will cause a loss of the light which will reduce the numerical aperture and diminish the resolving power of the objective lens. Therefore to compensate loss of refraction of the light cedar wood oil having the refractive index of n is equal to 1.5 it is used between the slide and the objective lens because it has same refractive index as that of glass. Therefore by using cedar wood oil it decreased in light refraction and more light rays enter directly into the objective lens and as a result of that it produces vivid image with high resolution. So let's recall what you have learned by giving answer to my simple question. My first question is enlist type of objective lenses. So we have seen three type of objective lenses. First it is achromatic, second one it is fluoride and third one it is apochromatic lens. Second question is name the objective lens which is used only for critical research and photography due to its expensive nature. 
So we have seen one such type of expensive lens that is apochromatic lens. Since it is expensive, it is not affordable for routine process of microscopy. It is only used for critical research and photography. My third question is, what is the advantage of oil immersion lens? We have seen in case of oil immersion lens, we have used cedar wood oil. And due to use of cedar wood oil, it provides two important advantages to the oil immersion lens. So there is increase in visual angle and there is greater resolution and magnification in case of oil immersion lens. My fourth question is, name the oil used to reduce refraction of light in oil immersion objective lens. Obviously, it is cedar wood oil. Now we will study method of illumination. In microbiology, two methods are commonly used for illuminating the objective under microscope. First method it is illumination by transmitted light or bright field microscopy and second one it is dark field illumination or dark field microscopy. Now we will study first method of illumination that is illumination by transmitted light. So a condenser it is used for illumination by the transmitted light. A condenser may be defined as a series of lenses for illuminating transmitted light on the object to be studied on the stage of the microscope. You can see the location of the condenser. The condenser it is located under the stage. So now this is the stage. So it is located some, somewhere here. So below the stage between the light source and the objective. So this is the objective. So it is present in between the light source and the objective below the stage. So condenser is looks something like this. So let's see what is the use of condenser. So condensers it is used for the examination of object with an oil immersion objective lens to obtain adequate illumination. Condenser is also used when working with the high power objective lens that is 45x. Condenser also incorporated with an iris diaphragm and a filter holder. So whatever you can see here this is called as iris diaphragm. An iris diaphragm it is used to control light intensity. This iris diaphragm can be moved towards right side. So when you move towards right side the diaphragm will be closed and less intensity of light will be passed. Whereas when you move towards left side all diaphragm will open and all the light which is coming from the mirror or from the light source will falls on the object. There are three types of condenser are commonly used for bright field microscopy. First one it is app condenser. Second one it is variable focus condenser and third one it is a chromatic condenser. So each of these condenser it is differ in their design. So let's see one by one. So first one it is the app condenser. So the app condenser utilizes only two lens system. Because of its simplicity and good light gathering ability it is extensively used for general microscopy. It is not corrected for spherical aberration and chromatic aberration. Second one it is variable focus condenser. So in case of variable focus condenser, it consists of two lens system in which upper lens element is fixed and the lower lens element it is flexible. Since lower element it is flexible, it can move up and down to make variable focus condenser. This condenser is basically similar to app condenser when the lower lens is raised to its top position. Third one it is a chromatic condenser. The achromatic condenser it is corrected for both chromatic and spherical aberration. Hence, it is mainly used for research microscopy and for color photography where highest degree of perfection in the image it is desired. Let's see about ray diagram of compound microscope. First important part of compound microscope, it is the source of light. This light source may be the natural light or it may be the artificial light. Rays coming from the light source will fall on the mirror and from the mirror through condenser this light will fall on the object or the specimen. Further these light rays coming from the light source are united by the objective lens and sent towards the eyepiece lens which is close to the eye. In the path of the light rays these rays are intersect to form the real image of the object. So wherever light rays are intersecting there there is formation of the real image of the object. The distance between the real image of the object and the objective it is called as S. So this is about the ray diagram of the compound microscope. It is different from simple microscope where it has uses two lens system that is objective lens and eyepiece lens. Now we will study about mechanism of bright field microscopy. It is also called as light microscopy. In this case of microscopy, sample appear as a dark in color and background is bright or white in color. 
Now let's see why bright background and dark sample it is seen in case of bright field microscopy. Suppose you have mounted only a glass slide without sample on the stage of the microscope. So this is the slide with no sample. In this case, all light coming from the light source and condenser will pass through this glass slide. There is no diffraction of light and hence under the microscope you can see only bright field or white color background due to non-diffracted light. Now suppose you have added sample on the slide. In this case, some of the light that hit sample will be diffracted or scattered wherever sample is present. And wherever sample is not present, their light will pass as non-diffracted light. So here there are two types of light, diffracted light and non-diffracted light. Wherever light diffraction occur, that portion will appear as a dark color in case of sample and wherever there is no diffraction in case of background, that portion will appear as a bright color. Therefore, in case of bright field microscopy, sample is a dark in color and background is bright in color. So this is possible with color biological samples like algae because it contain chlorophyll. But suppose if your biological sample is bacteria or paramecium which are colorless in nature, then in such cases there is less diffraction of light and due to that you cannot properly see the image of these biological samples. So to see these type of samples with transparent nature, you need to add staining agents which make sample dark in color that leads to more diffraction of light. Also in case of bright field microscopy, you can only see the shape of microorganism. However, if you want to study very small bacterial organelles such as cilia, flagella, then they are too thin and not produces enough contrast with bright field microscopy and hence they are not visible by using this technique. Before ending my this e-learning session, let's recall what you have learned through a short question and answers. My first question is enlist two methods of illumination in compound microscopy. So we have seen there are two methods of illumination that is bright field and second one it is dark field. And based on this method of illumination, there are two types of microscopic technique. First one is bright field microscopy and second one it is dark field microscopy. Name the type of condenser in which upper lens element is fixed and the lower element if flexible. So we have studied such one type of condenser that is variable focus condenser. Since lower element is flexible, so we can move it up and down and it give variable focus to that condenser. Third. Name type of condenser which is used when highest degree of perfection is desired. So when we need highest degree of perfection, we can use a chromatic condenser which can remove chromatic abrasion as well as spherical abrasion. My fourth question is, enlist disadvantages of bright field microscopy. So we have seen two important disadvantages of bright field microscopy that is uh, unstained sample is not visible by using this technique. And second is very small organelles or details of biological sample is not visible. So to study such sample, you need to use another techniques that is dark field microscopy and phase contrast microscopy. So to study these microscopic techniques, stay tuned with us and see my next e-lecture session on dark field microscopy and phase contrast microscopy. Thanks for watching. If you like my this e-learning session, then press like click below and do share with your friends. For more such learning, subscribe to my channel.